So iOS 15, 16 beta 7 just ended up coming out today. So let's go and take a look at it on our iPhones. Now I will definitely tell you iOS 16 beta 6 was pretty decent. And if we go and take a look at how big the size was for beta 7, you can see it was 315.1 megabytes coming from beta 6. Now the beta before this was 406.3 megabytes. So it was actually a lot bigger than I originally thought. So I will definitely tell you with beta 6, it probably brought more to the table than beta 7, but as I mentioned before, at this point with these types of betas, we are getting into the, I think the best way to describe it is like iOS security and bug fix update realm. Apple's probably not going to be bringing any more cool features. I don't think there's going to be like a battery percentage, like a little feature added. I think it's going to be very, very focused on getting this thing as stable as possible because the official release date of this version of software is probably going to be the September 7th weekend. So if we look right here, September 7th right here is probably when the next Apple event is. That's what rumors are suggesting. I could see the beta or official version. We might get a gold master like the 8th or 9th. And then the official version may come on the 12th or it may come the week after on the 14th. Who knows? But I think this time is when it's supposed to be coming out. So less than a month, we could be getting the official and the gold master or at least candidate versions of iOS 16 being just the official version. Now, I will say, like I said before, this update is not really going to be bringing anything crazy. It's just going to be bringing some security and bug fixes. That's kind of what this release log says. Now, within the actual release log and the release notes, you can see that Apple did kind of bring in a lot of cool things specifically focused around that, you know, bug fix realm. Now, we can see right here, it says the accessibility portion resolved in iOS and iPadOS 16 beta 7. There was a little pointer behavior. I guess it wasn't working well. I think that, that may have been for like Bluetooth mouses and stuff. Core graphics, there were a few things that were deprecated. There was an emoji issue that's now been fixed. It says the search field for the emoji lock screen editor is missing. Apparently that has been fixed or at least addressed in this update. A few iCloud situations were also addressed. Known issues like the, as a remind me message was addressed. It looks like there's some other issues still going on that Apple's going to be addressing in future updates. The big thing though is that it's going to be getting more stable. It's going to be getting better overall. And that is the big thing that I really want to keep addressing. Every single release Apple makes and they keep showing more and more different things like in this specific case, as this gets bigger and bigger and bigger, there's going to be more and more things that are fixed overall. And that is something that makes me really excited about the next couple versions of iOS you know, 16. Apple has pretty much released a new version of a beta for the last few weeks. You know, Last week they dropped one, I think the week before that they dropped one, and I think the week before that they also dropped one. I mean, this is when they dropped on August 9th, they, on August 8th they dropped one, August 15th they dropped another one, and now they dropped another one too. So it's been like three weeks they dropped one some, you know, back to back, which I'm really happy about. So in the next few days, there's going to be lots of new features and little things that a lot of people noticed in this update that I probably didn't talk about too much. So if you want, I'd recommend going to this Reddit iOS beta subreddit. It is crazy good. I love the subreddit a lot. And the more people that can go on it and actually, you know, see what's up and, you know, talking here, the better it is for everyone. There's thousands of people on it all the time. So I'd recommend going there as well. I also want to hit on battery life real quick. From my experience, I'm doing another battery test too. The iOS battery life has been getting better and better on pretty much all the iPhones that are supported on iOS 16. So this includes phones like the iPhone 12s, the 11s, even the iPhone 10s have gotten better battery life as well. So I'm really happy to see what the next couple versions of iOS, if they're going to be improving on battery life too. Beta 1 wasn't even that bad, especially for my iPhone 10, but it's gotten even better now, which is really good. So. I'll keep you guys updated. I may do another final like a battery test on the official version if you guys want to see it, but that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.